forces retreat! I repeat, all forces retreat! Hello and welcome, or welcome back if you're returning, my name is Burr, and if you are a fan of MMOs, RPGs, JRPGs, obscure video games, art, or music, then you should subscribe, because that's what we do here. Also, don't forget to like this video, because it super helps us out, it also lets me know that you like the content that I'm making, so it's really helpful. Uh, one really quick announcement before we start. We are on our way to 800 subscribers, and once we get there, I'm going to be doing a super awesome live art stream where I will be drawing for you guys, the viewers, and the subscribers, um, your Final Fantasy XIV characters, or just your OCs, or, I don't know, anything but like that. So we're almost there, we're at like 758, 757, so yeah, super close. So what's that? <laughs> once we get there, that's going to happen. Well, you heard the flame, General. Looks like we've got a meeting to attend. Oh yeah, a meeting. That everyone, let us begin. Alagiri is ours, and for our mercy we took it without losing a single man. But we dare not grow complacent. Specula Imperatoris will not be so easily won. If I may, General. Should we not pause to consider the Imperials' motivations? For Xenos to surrender a fortified settlement of strategic importance without so much as firing a shot is... inexplicable. We searched the village and found no traps or other signs of s sabotage. Suspicious though it may be, I will not refuse this gift from our enemy. The path to Alomigo is through the east, through Specula Imperatoris and Castrobabania. It bears repeating, however, that the latter is home to a massive cannon with unparalleled range and destructive power. Which means that we will need to strike Specula Imperators quickly, both to limit their ability to locate our forces in the field, and to utilize the installation as a shield against attack, as they would doubtless not risk damaging the towers. I see. Then we have no choice but to accept what we have been given. Aye, and that's the way of it. I've no doubt that Xenos has got something planned, but we'll just have to deal with it when the time comes. To the assault, then. The main host will commence a direct assault on Specula Imperators. During this time, I would hold the Scions in reserve at Alighieri to deal with any Imperial forces that may be dispatched in response. Understood. Wait a minute! We should be fighting with you and the Resistance! I understand you don't want to rely too much on Burr after what she's been through, but at least let the rest of us do our part. Oh, please. Be more confident in her. Thanks. I knew you would understand. Yeah, we can do this. Mayhap it would be best if I accompanied you. Alize can stay with Burr. Oh, go if you must. The two of us can take care of ourselves. <laughs> you have your orders? Dismissed. Ooh, more fighting, more wars. Gotta love it. Meanwhile, deep within an Imperial research facility. Oh, Lord. I'm scared! <sighs> Is it Hojo? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. <sighs> Experiment on her. <laughs> Let us see. So, she lives. Impressive. Or merely lucky, though that too may prove a useful trait. 
My lord, what have you done to me? Though we Guardians are intellectually and physiologically superior in almost all respects, we lack the hereditary traits required for the reliable manipulation of ether, hence our unique inability to wield magics. Well, though we are better than you in every single way. <laughs> This deficiency, for want of a better word, saw us subjected to decades of oppression by the lesser races, and we were eventually driven to seek shelter in the cold northern reaches of Ilsabad. Fortunately, said region, was replete with vast deposits of ceruleum, which proved instrumental in the development of Magitech, a revolutionary technology conceived to compensate for our disadvantage. It was with Magitek that we grew strong, that our nation became an empire. Yet, ultimately, this was an extrinsic solution to an intrinsic problem. What I wanted was not a crude device to be used in lieu of magic. Through modification of the Garlean genome, I argued that it might be possible to enhance a subject's ability to manipulate ether, effectively empowering them to wield magics. Alas. My theories were met with consternation in the Imperial Court. Only Lord Xenos, with commendable foresight and wisdom, deigned to support my research. You gave me this treatment, but I'm not Garlean. Alamegan, through and through. What you have been granted is far greater than mere magic. Before that lesser light. It is as a second son. I am informed that Alagiri was recently occupied by the Resistance, and that an attack on Specular Imperatoris is considered imminent. This could provide an ideal opportunity to test her performance in the field. Your... Skulls, was it? They have joined the garrison at the Watchtower? Yes, my lord. By your leave, I would rendezvous with them and lead a counter-attack against the insurgents. No. Even were you to leave now, you would not arrive in time. There is another duty I would entrust to you. Ya boy! So full of fire and eager, weren't they? Well, I wouldn't worry too much. They're strong and they have each other. At least he spared me the trouble of having to speak up. I wasn't about to let these go alone. We have a fair bit of ground to cover, so we should split up. If you come across any Imperial soldiers, you know what to do. Oh, until you know, I sent a word to Arenvald's squadron. They are already searching other nearby areas, so we have allies in the event we encounter anything beyond our means. By some dead people. Good job, Allie. Ah, give me a moment, Burr. Say that again, if you would. Hmm. No, maintain your distance for now. Understood. Keep me apprised of any developments. That was our involved. The pair that was spying on us in the fringes has followed us here. What about you, Burr? Any trouble? And there I was thinking we might be due for some peace and quiet. Glad to hear you dealt with them. I hope the assault on Specular Imperatoris is going well. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Father, you lured the fool onto my blade, and do not try to deny it. I 
Our work here is all but done. What of Conrad and his men? They are for the main tower. The Skulls have offered fierce resistance thus far, but Conrad seems to believe he can convince them to lay down their arms. Then we will tend to the stragglers down below. With me! At least she's not naked anymore. <laughs> Report. Enemy forces have overrun the lower facilities and appear to be mounting an assault on the main tower. We have already received a request for reinforcements. A unit of legionaries has been mustered and is ready to depart. They await your orders, Commander. Stand down. Commander? Tell them to stand down. Commander, if I may, our people, your people are still in there. They will be slaughtered. You think I don't know that? I want nothing more than to help them, to lead the bloody charge, but I have my orders. Lord Zeno said no reinforcements. He would have us use the main cannon to destroy the installation. What? Kill our own soldiers? You must be mistaken. Okay, hold on. Why is this guy so surprised? Have you not been paying attention? Mayhap you'd like to ask Lord Xenos yourself. I thought not. Initiate the firing sequence. Wars are won on the backs of the dead. Theirs and ours. There is no truth but this. We must remain firm and resolute and always, always do our duty. Now, give the order. Initiate firing sequence. Aye, aye, initiating firing sequence. Release safety locks, deploy main cannon. Rudolf, Emlyn, for us, for our people, for our future. I need you to confirm the target, Commander. Specular Imperatoris, main tower. Fire when ready. This is not good. Okay, but this is gonna be big Junon vibes. The seven hells. Long range artillery. Those treacherous bastards. Their people were still fighting. Full retreat. Now! Relay the orders! Understood. All forces retreat! I repeat, all forces retreat! Good right now, everybody.
by the twelve. Did you see that? The main tower just collapsed. You heard it too, didn't you? It must have been the cannon at Castro Mabenya. But that was an Imperial installation, and the troops were still... Damn it. No one's responding. I don't know if the shell is being jammed, or... We have to go right now. They need our help. This is not good. This, this is, this is not good. This way. There's no time to lose. It's worse than it looks. He, he probably isn't, wasn't even. Pull yourself together. The gate. This is our way inside. We need to find my brother right now. Oh. I'm glad you're here, Bert. In case it isn't obvious, the Imperials fired on us. On Specula Imperators. I didn't think they had it in them. To kill their own men just to kill us? God damn them all. Where is my brother? Tell me where he is. I want to see him. He was in the tower when it struck. But that need not mean anything. Our forces are still evacuating and many remain unaccounted for. Elise. Elise, listen. There are soldiers wounded and dying all around us. Soldiers with families just like you and me. They need our help. Do you understand? He's right. I'll take the north, you take the east. Poor Ellie. Oh my gosh. Is it cloud? <laughs> Ugh, everything hurts. I think I was struck by debris from the tower. <laughs> Wait, I know you. Berlin, ward of House Fortal. We fought together on the steps of faith. You saved my life back then. And now. I can walk. Thank you. A thousand times, thank you. Conrad! Conrad, can you hear me? Nalo! Put him down over there! Oh no... Man... Conrad! Conrad, speak to me! It, it, it was all so sudden. Conrad had just convinced the last few skulls to surrender when, when, when we heard the bang and, and everything started to shake. We carried the survivors to safety, but Conrad's... We have done what we can for him. All that remains is to pray. <sighs> Conrad? Is, is, is that you, Lise? I can't... I can't see a damn thing. Well, that's that then. Time's up. What are you talking about? You'll be on your feet before you know it! Uh, it's all right, Lise. I've lived long enough. But listen, I want... I want you to lead the Resistance in my stead. Don't say another word. You'll recover. We'll recover. We'll bring freedom to Alamigo together. We're not gonna stop here. No, no you won't. Everything we've built, everyone we've brought together, I know you'll show them the way. You've got it in you, Lise. Not because you're Curtis's daughter or Ida's sister, but because because you're you. Because you're you. Conrad. Lead them to victory. To freedom. I will, Conrad. I will. I promise. Oh my gosh.
Meanwhile, in the chaos of Castro Mabanya, I mean, we needed something to, like, make Lise want to step up even more, so... Next round! Double the charge! Come, Nidhogg. We are needed. That's the Cerulean Pipeline! Impossible! How could one man... Shoot the bastard! Shoot him! <laughs> My lance has slain far greater beasts. I was wondering when he was gonna come back in here. Oh, I'm so excited. You're welcome, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Does it all for Alpi? So funny. Notify all units! I want that intruder found! And get the engineers to fix my bloody cannon! The savages are coming! We could have killed them. We could have walked away. But instead we tried to convince them to lay down their arms. We tried to seek a peaceful resolution. We showed them mercy and this was their response. Fire and blood. This was their answer. Such crimes cannot go unpunished. They must not. Gods is my witness. There will be a reckoning. Forgive me. That was not the time for vows of vengeance. We must remain calm and rational and in control. The Imperials have demonstrated a willingness to fire on their own. So long as we remain here, we are in danger. We three will seek to see to you, Commander Kemp's body. Find my sister and return to Alighieri. There, that should suffice for now. Go on and join the others. Get out of here. Tell me you found Alfredo. Tell me he's alright. Yes, just a little angry right now. <laughs> oh, thank the Twelve. I don't know what I would have done. No, say that. What will the Resistance do with Commander without Commander Kemp? Sorry. Not here. Not now. We should return to Alleghen. Keep an eye out for any wounded who need our help on the way. Huh. It wasn't long ago I was trying to kill you and yours. I half suspected you were about to slit my throat. To hell's with this. I should be back home in Ilisabard instead of taking fire from my so-called comrades. Thanks, friend. Bloody tourniquet came loose and I was having trouble getting it back on. I should be fine the rest of the way. Oh, oh bless you, kind. Wait, is that you, bro? I didn't recognize you at first. Been feeling a bit dizzy. Must have lost a lot of blood. Hi. I can keep going. I can keep going. We have given over Commander Kemp's remains for safekeeping. Later, I have no idea when. Rites must needs be performed. For now, however, we must carry on. We must press forward. We must not give in to despair. All Alliance and Resistance units have now withdrawn from Specula Imperators. It is time we spoke with General Alden. These deaths weigh heavy on my soul. Commander Kemp's most of all. He was a wise leader. He was a patriot. But above all else, he was a good man who will be sorely missed. Aww. We have suffered a grievous defeat, but we cannot, cannot and will not renounce this cause. The die has been cast. Hold tight to this grief, this anger, and let it drive you forward. 
Let it be your strength and your shield where next you face the enemy. It will carry us far, General. Of that, I have no doubt. Ere we take another step towards El Amigo, however, we must first address the question of how to deal with Castrum Amania's cannon. If the Imperials are willing to employ the weapon without the thought for their own soldiers' safety, we may struggle to approach them. A frontal assault is out of the question. We'd lose countless men before we even reach the walls. Would we? Recall that the Imperials could have obliterated our forces had they kept firing, but neglected to do so. They had no strategic reason to cease fire, which begs the question, why did they? <laughs> you suspect they were unable to fire the cannon again? They have to to a malfunction. Or one of their officers found his conscience after the first barrage, or a heretofore unknown resistance faction chose that moment to disable it. There are many possibilities, but the fact remains that they stopped when logic dictated they continue. Then I'll just have to go and see my, for myself if the cannon is still operational. Are you mad? Conrad put you in charge of the resistance! We can't risk losing another commander so soon. I know how you feel, Nako. I do. But I need you to understand. It wasn't long after Peppa Limo and I arrived at Rongo's Reach that Conrad first asked me to join the Resistance. And then he kept on asking. <laughs> Every time I said no, I told myself it was because of the Scions. But even then, I knew deep down that it was an excuse. That I was still afraid of following my heart because I couldn't be sure if it was for me or for Ida. But then I met someone, on the other side of the world, who had struggled with the same worries. And as we traveled and fought together, I saw him grow and become the leader his people needed him to be. And now it's my turn to do the same. There's not a lot of us left, and of the ones that are, many are still wounded. We have to do what we've got. And I'm, oh, and I'm best qualified. It's as simple as that. But don't worry, Noggle. I'll, I'll come back, I promise. While I acknowledge Commander Hex's right to carry out this mission, I see no reason why she should do so alone. Burr, would you go with her? Yeah. We'll be nice to her. Be nice to these. Then it's settled. We will await your return. Sorry to drag you into this, Burr. Wait a second. It may not be the decision Conrad would have made, but I'm not Conrad. I never will be. I don't know what kind of leader he was hoping for, but right now, all I can do is be myself. If you don't mind, I'd rather not wait around and he have people try to talk me out of it. Let's get moving. I know a good vantage point overlooking the Castro. The Uncrump's Hope. The ship's stranded on the rocks to the east of here. It shouldn't take us long to get there. Oh, but there might be some ancient golems guarding it. Or that might just be an old wives' tale. Either way, it's worth the risk. Lise, Commander. I pray you proceed with all due caution. Do not hesitate to call upon us if needed. <gasps> to reach the ship, we'll have to scale the cliff face. I'll get some climbing gear and meet you there, alright? Sorry to keep you waiting. I see you've met the golems. Looks like the old stories were true, eh? In a way, I'm glad. Right then. Time to climb. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. It's a big boat. Well, that was easy. Huh. Huh. Phew. That took a bit more out of me than I expected. And here she is, the young Crypt's hope. The ark that one man made to save countless others from the flood during the Sixth Umbral Era. It's comforting to think that there have always been people who cared this much about their fellow man. 
who accomplished such great feats that people couldn't help thinking they must be made up. But the proof's right here, isn't it? I don't just mean the ship, you know. I mean you. Long before anyone started calling you a hero, you were there for those in need. You did things for people when you didn't have to. Sometimes, even when they didn't want you to. It can't have been easy, staying true to yourself. But we're all better for it. Me included. I'll never be a leader like Conrad, or Hien, or my father. But I can be a friend to you all, and I can fight by your side. I can be me, and that'll just have to be enough, eh? <laughs> That's all we expect from you, Elise. Strange to think back on it. If we'd been standing in different places, or if the shell had struck the tower differently, it would have been me instead of Conrad. Or maybe both of us. What kind of monster murders their own? Uh, is that smoke from Castro Mabanya? Wait, it's coming from the cannon! I can't tell what happened from here, but I can tell that it won't be giving us any trouble in the immediate future. This is our chance, Burr, to avenge Conrad and all the others who died in the tower, friend and foe. To take Castro Mabanya and bring the bastards who gave the order to fire to justice. It won't be easy after the losses we took, but I know everyone's champing at the bit to strike back. With the right plan, I'm certain we can do it. We have to tell the others. Come on. Yeah. Easier down than up, eh? Though not necessarily safer. Anyway, no time to rest. We need to convince the others to strike now before Imperials have time to fix their cannon. Hey all, so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please like this video because that'll help gather more folks to the video with the channel. We are aiming for 1k, so we're almost there. Also, if you are new and you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, we have a Discord link that is very, very fun. That link will be in the description underneath this video. And I also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well. And also, I do have a Patreon if you're interested. That link is below and that does help <laughs> get us uh, to support the channel so I can be here and do more stuff with you guys. All right, from uh, all of us to all of you. <laughs> Bye.